This is the third task in the in the third assignment and also the most difficult ones. The first two tasks are mainly uh, an introduction on how to use the different synchronization mechanisms, events, operations and to work with parameters and so on. Here in this assignment you will actually work with the hotel project and the idea is that you have two defined regions for two example bookings um, and they show more or less the life cycle of a booking. So you create a booking, you initiate it, you confirm and so on and in between you add rooms for example. Um, the only difference between these two regions right now is that in, in each condition, in each transition, you have a, a guard that has a different ID. So this first one here is ID 1, second one has ID 0, uh, and it only fires if the right ID is chosen. And that's what the, the third region here is for, it basically switches between those two. Uh, and we will see that in the simulation shortly. Um, the idea is that you work with this life cycle and create additional regions to handle rooms and reservations. So a reservation would be uh, that you reserve a certain room type but not the physical room. So something in between um, the physical room and the, the entire booking. Um, there are already things defined here but you can define more. And the idea is to use everything you learned in the first two tasks to get this done. Um, also, you should not uh, define specific events uh, for each room, for example. So there shouldn't be one event that's called check-in room one, and the other one is check-in room two or so. But it should be like it is here, that you have one general event, and then you have guards depending on room IDs, for example, booking IDs, whatever you need. Um, the thing that is here already defined is runnable, because... Um, the, there are no errors in here, there's nothing missing. The other thing here is there are a number of operations defined, but only two of them are so far implemented. So the initiate booking is implemented, which basically returns a booking ID, and the add room to booking is also implemented, which returns true or false, depending on whether there are still free rooms. Um, and we can have a look at that really quick. So it's assignment 3 complete on Java, um, and you will see that there are these two methods. The first one, initiate booking, just uh, increases a counter whereas the other one basically checks is the booking ID valid that has been provided so is it between one and the the highest one that has been returned um, and is the number of maximum rooms already uh, exceeded so we just define this to be five here otherwise this just this counter is increased and true is returned so that that's all it does right now not very much um, but of course feel free to extend that um, once you run the simulation, so I already defined this here with the with the right operations class. Once I run this, you can see that you can basically click through the life cycle. So if I say initiate booking, then the booking one up here will start, uh, and whenever I do add room, it will go this loop here. So you see that. Um, and then if I want to switch to the other one, I, I just do switch booking. And you see that this, this variable here changes. So, so the guard down here will become true. So if I say initiate booking again, I will go here. And if I say add room to booking now, then this one fires instead of the upper one. Um, also, now I did this three times. I said maximum rooms is five. So if I do this three more times, it should stop. And now it fired. It fired another time. And now it stops. Even if I continue clicking, there's no more. Uh, nothing more happening. And now I can basically say I want to confirm and for example switch back to the previous one, confirm this one and basically go through the life cycle until I'm in the final state. But both of these regions don't really do anything so far. So they get the booking ID uh, and they, they can call this method but apart from that they basically react to what I'm clicking here and your task is now to add additional regions to simulate book uh, rooms, room types um, and to basically trigger here the right events that cause the rooms and the reservations, the room types, to move in their states. So, for example, a reservation for a, for a room would also have something like created, uh, confirmed, checked in, checked out. And a room is either free, it's occupied, and maybe you will need other things. And this is so far everything for assignment 3, but expect that this assignment will be rather difficult and I expect that very few of you will actually complete the whole thing. Um, 
for example, handling concurrency of these two bookings, that there is no overlap, or for example, booking zero can't check in a room of booking one, and so on.